What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. It's time to talk about nickel iron batteries, or Edison cells. In 1901, Thomas Edison patented the nickel iron battery in the United States and started to produce and sell them as the energy source for electric vehicles. Some of you may be surprised by that, but electric vehicles are not a new invention. Anyway, after production of electric vehicles stopped several years later, the technology was largely forgotten until World War II, where they were used in rockets. Nickel iron batteries have a nickel oxide hydroxide cathode and an iron anode. The electrolyte material is usually potassium hydroxide. This electrolyte material gives nickel iron batteries very low solubility, which protects the electrodes. What that means is these things are frickin' tanks. They have extremely high durability and very long life compared to other battery technologies. They can tolerate extreme abuse such as overcharging, short circuiting, and over discharging. And because the electrodes last so long, these batteries can last for 50 to 100 years or more, making them one of the longest lasting battery technologies out there. And finally, they're pretty eco-friendly with plentiful materials and easy recycling. And now the bad news. These batteries are heavy. They're expensive, they have low cell voltage, low energy density, and they don't retain a charge very long. So because of these characteristics, nickel iron batteries have traditionally been used in mining, heavy machinery, welding, railroad, subways, and forklifts where their durability is great and their weight isn't a big deal. Recently, nickel iron batteries have received renewed attention from solar and wind applications off the grid where daily charging is a fact of life and weight also doesn't matter. Other research is also being conducted. In fact, in 2012, a team of researchers from Stanford developed a new version of the nickel iron battery that can be fully charged in only a few minutes and fully discharged in less than 30 seconds, which could be ideal for regenerative braking and vehicle applications. So keep your eye on nickel iron batteries as we're just scratching the surface of their potential. That's all for this time. Hit subscribe and stay tuned for more cool videos in the future.